Now, South Korean opposition leader Lee Jae-myung has been stabbed in the neck on a visit to the city of Busan. Lee was speaking to journalists when a man in the crowd lunged at him. The politician collapsed and people rushed to his aid before he was taken to hospital. The attacker was quickly arrested. Ye Yun Shin is a journalist at Arirang News in Seoul. I spoke to her earlier about Lee Jae-myung's condition. He was transferred from Busan to Seoul National University Hospital, and he's expected to go through a quick surgery now. And the Democratic Party has made it clear that Lee Jae-myung is conscious. Uh, emergency measures were taken within 45 minutes since he was stabbed in the neck. Lee was transferred to a nearby hospital in the port city of Busan during a Q&A session. He was there with reporters after touring the construction site of a new airport. He was quickly transferred where emergency measures could be made. And it was there where doctors suspected damage had been made to Lee Jae Myung's jugular vein, and they said the wound wouldn't risk the opposition party leader's life. But as you know, this vein is the largest vein in the neck that serves as the main source of blood flow down from the head. So if left untreated for too long, it could cause serious brain damage or additional bleeding, which is exactly why he was transferred to Seoul National University Hospital, where he's undergoing surgery. Okay, so still a precarious situation there. Uh, do we know anything about the attacker and already what uh, his possible motives may have been? Exactly. Minutes ago, police identified that the attacker is a man in his 60s. He appeared to be a fan of Lee jae asking him for an autograph while wearing a headband reading, I'm Lee jae -myung. Then he suddenly lunged forward to stab the party leader. And local news outlet Yona reported that the weapon used at the site was around 18 centimeters long. Police also identified that he had bought the weapon online. And they're still investigating what his exact motives were. And as you mentioned before, the police arrested the man at the scene and is now charging him with attempted murder. And just for our international viewers who are not closely following um, politics there, can you tell us a little bit more about Lee Jae-myung? As a political figure, he's, he's the leader of the main opposition party, but uh, what, what is he known for? Well, Lee Jae-myung is known as the close neck-and-neck -neck candidate to the current president, President Yoon song yeol during the former presidential election. He was the running-up candidate to who could be the president of South Korea. He's also a very popular political figure here. He's been through a lot of scandals at the moment. But most importantly, he is the main opposition party leader, which is now why a lot of people are paying attention to how his terror attack really shows how polarized public sentiment is when it comes to polit politicians and political parties here in South Korea. Thank you so much for that update. That is journalist Ye Yun Shin uh, joining us from Seoul.